Hello my beautiful Taurus, we're here this morning to do your final love reading for the month of August. This is four out of four, so let's look and see what the energy is. Flexible, okay. Uh, a higher power. Let's get one more energy card. A loyal heart. Well, you know, Taurus does have a loyal heart. I always like that. The Tauruses that I've had the good fortune to be close to are very loyal people. All right, let's see what the mutual energy is between you and the person you love. I will read this as a romantic love relationship, but take it as it resonates. You can treat it as a relationship with other people also. The recent mutual energy was working on things. Eight of Pentacles, getting to know you, you know, but this looks like getting to know all about you. I don't sing very well, so I won't hurt your ears. Um, but the Eight of Pentacles is really about a relationship in which a lot of knowledge has been gained. It's a very happy relationship. It has fun. It has support. It has stability. So I like the energy. We have the current mutual energy is the Three of Pentacles. The two of you look like you're trying to make plans and that is clarified by the Page of Swords. You could be researching uh, going somewhere together. Um, you know, I'm getting the page. You could be, I think both of you or one of you is leading the way. And I think Taurus, this could be your person of interest. They're looking for enlightenment. They're studying a book. They're over a waterfall. They're walking on a sword between two cliffs. So they definitely feel as though there's peril, but they're really undaunted by it. So it does look like you're working on something together and this is a planning that's going on. How they view you, Taurus, is very loving, the Queen of Cups, very, very vulnerable, very kind, very emotional. That is the beautiful Queen of Cups, which is Cancerian energy. The Eight of Coins is Vic, uh, Virgo energy. The Three of Coins is Capricorn energy. And the Page of Swords is Gemini. All right, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, as you all know. Okay, so let's see how they feel in their heart space, Taurus. How does your person feel in their heart space? Ace of Coins. Ace of Coins is all about making a significant offer. It's, uh, it's sort of like I'm going to hold everything that I value. When we look at the Ace of Coins, we're looking at Earth sign, very grounded energy. It's love that is shown through acts of kindness, acts of service. It's what you give someone. It's the gift of love. The gift of love is being presented, the gift of the potential uh, to build a future together. I love the energy. All right, how does your person, the other person, see your way forward in this relationship? What do they see coming up? Ooh, throw caution to the wind. And then we have, that's the Ace of Wands. So that's fire sign energy, passionate. And then we have the Seven of Swords, sneaking around, trying to find answers. But also, you know, this could be an attack because a person is carrying a knife. So I have no idea what that's about in the place, in, in this particular space. So we're going to see how that clarifies when we get to the clarification card. All right, so the joint mutual energy is that both of you desire equal give and take in a relationship and in your relationship. It also is the, so when we have six of coins, we have Taurus energy, Taurus, you have arrived in your reading. All right, Taurus energy is rules the second house and that what that means in practical terms is that Taurus is our money. Taurus is how we value things. It's what we value. Um, so there's a high value placed in stability and growth and work. And, you know, it's also our self-esteem. It represents that which we value most in life plus our self-esteem. So the energy that I see here is equal give and take is what you both value most as well as the ability to use your wisdom, remain calm, carry on, no matter what's going on. There's this beautiful owl. There's this enjoyment of being in a very intellectual space together in which you can discuss things. All right, what is the energy as we end the month of August for you and this person? What is the energy between the two of you as you end the month? All right. Oh, goodness. Okay. So 
I'm not going to judge this card quite yet because the cards are indicating that um, it does look as though if this person learns something about you, Taurus, that they thought was going to hurt them, they would pack up and leave because this is their energy. They're throwing caution to the winds. They're letting their guard down, but they also could be leaving something already and coming to you. So we will, again, clarifiers tell the story. All right, so let's see what the outcome is for this relationship. Very interesting uh, card layout here. What is the outcome for this relationship for our Taurus friends? What is the outcome for this relationship for Taurus? Ah, these two cards want to speak. Ah, feeling left out in the cold. Five of coins. That is really, a, that is almost opposite energy. Look at this. These two energies are almost opposite. So when we look at this card, this is all about passion. This is caution, and it shows, like, if you hurt me, I'll hurt you. That's what gives me the, the ability to throw caution to the winds. Not a great energy, okay? Uh, what this card tells us is that um, the two of you are, have a spiritual connection, and that's very clear with the star card. This card actually means being abandoned, feeling left in the cold, but this is not really a true, accurate statement about what's going on. Now, you could just be missing each other. One of you could have trouble financially, or both of you could. There could be a loss of home or coin because, again, we have you know this sort of maybe a little loss of a job that could be the case but there's a big key and all is not lost and this is this is this person's looking down they don't even see this big giant key right here is the answer to opening that door to this beautiful spirituality the star card is hopes and dreams for love coming true it's being really balanced. It's Aquarius energy. So is this. This is Aquarius energy. And it is all about having wisdom and having the ability to hold on to your dreams and hopes and all that you aspire to no matter what the outer circumstances are. So it does look like you are still manifesting love with each other even though it looks like... Um, it looks daunting, you know, somewhat. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify the cards and see what's going on. All right, why is the Eight of Coins here? For our beautiful Taurus friends, why is the Eight of Coins here? Why is the Eight of Coins here for beautiful Taurus friends and their love interest? The Devil card, all right. Why is the Devil card here? The Devil card is a dark energy that comes around a reading. The Tower card. Wow, why is the Tower card here? The, the Devil card and the Tower card are coming into what seems like a very mundane reading. What does the Devil represent? What is the Devil energy in this reading that has created a crisis in somehow the basic operation? Or, you know, it's also when a relationship is starting out and there's a big stumble. You think that you're at the almost at the journeyman level. You think two more coins and I'm an expert. But it shows that that right now this relationship has really uh, taken a spill, basically. The tower card, the structure of the relationship is unstable. It is due to, to devil energy. Uh, there could be a break. Let's see, we get death card. A transformation is required. What needs to be transformed? What needs to be transformed in this relationship? The King of Wands energy, which is Leo energy. So if we're looking at this, when we look at Leo the Lion, we're looking at the pride. Now we're looking at the pride because it's a family, right? The, the Lion pride is a family. But pride and ego could be getting in the way. So that's what we're seeing here. The Devil energy is the King of Wands, which is being in your ego, right? So... Let's see. What? Tell us more about this devil. What is the devil? What is this darkness here in the relationship that seems so bright and cheery? 
lies, seven of voices, things are not as they seem. Somebody has not told the truth and it does look like it could be your person. Emperor card, somebody wants the upper hand. I feel like I'm doing a whole reading right there. All right, so we're going to move forward here. Somebody wants to be the boss, basically. The Emperor card is Aries energy. And there's nothing wrong with wanting to be the boss, but it looks as though this person will act in manipulative ways because they want it so badly. And this knife indicates somebody's getting hurt in this process. So... Um, something has to change. We have the death card. We have the tower card. It's out in the open now. All right. The muse of materials. All right. So the current mutual energy is focused around, but you know, work, uh, goals, career. It, it, and here you are. The, the muse of materials is the Taurus king. So you are really in your reading Taurus. Yay. You are trying to be cautious here. You are really trying to be cautious. You know, we you you are pretty relaxed. You're, you know, but this is mutual energy. So the two of you, there, there's three people here. So there could be a situation that feels toxic or addictive or too many energies because we have caution as the light at the top. So that's a red flag is showing up. What is what is your person studying? What are they trying to learn about you? What are they trying to learn about you? What, why is this page here studying you kind of almost at their own peril? They're willing to go pretty far as, as this is a spy card also. Ah, they want to know what your wealth is or your abundance. They want to know why you appear to be so privileged and um, they want to know why there's such a tight circle here of people around you. So they're, you know, that would be studying social media. They see you as a very abundant person. Let's see. The seven of materials, they do not feel as abundant. They feel as though how they view the situation is you have a lot more than they do. Ten versus seven, they're still building their wealth and you are not. The Four of Coins, they're holding back. They feel as though you're holding back. If you're in a work situation, this person is angry about something. So if this is a work situation or a contract or something that's being negotiated, that is what I see as an issue here. The Ten of Wands, this person feels that they've carried too much of a burden. The Eight of Materials, okay? Eight of Materials is going back to the Eight of Materials. They are obsessed. So one of you may be, this could be very much a boss-employee relationship also. And it can, you know, it can be both. It can be romantic also. So you might have met at work. All right, why is the Queen of Cups here for how they see you? They see you as highly emotional. Why is it here? The three of inspiration, they do feel as though you're very emotional. You're very much a visionary. You're a person who looks into the future and you manifest. Ah, so that's one of the, they're trying to learn to manifest from you and they're obsessed with it. So if this is a romantic relationship, your person is very much obsessed with trying to get to know what you're doing. Are you doing something unfair? Are you doing something that takes advantage of others? Are you doing something that indicates that you have some sort of nefarious goal or some hidden agenda? All right. Well, they don't really view you as that person, so, but they are concerned. Okay, so what is the offer that this person is making you? Why is this person in their heart space feeling that there's an offer on the table? What is the offer about? Oh, six of emotions, a feeling of nostalgia, returning to a, a time in your life when you felt more secure like a child. All right, six of coins, equal give and take. Temperance card, finding balance. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so what do we have here for the seven of swords? It's a, kind of a bothersome energy. This person spies on you. They could drive by your house at night. They feel as though you're not telling them the truth about something. Um, what is it that they think is hidden? What does this person think is hidden? What do they think that they have to protect themselves from with you, Taurus? Ah, 
Okay, it could be a third party situation because now we have two threes. We have the cautionary note, three, the, the you know, the giant traffic light, you know, and it says caution, drive slowly, don't rush through, but this person is also throwing caution to the wind. So that's, they see that they are, or you are, let's see. Is this throwing caution to the winds getting you to throw caution to the wind? is how they maintain a third party situation, Wheel of Fortune. We have Temperance, we have Sagittarius energy, that's really beautiful. The Six of Cups is Scorpio energy. It really indicates that there is a rebirth of some sort going on in this relationship. So you may remind them of someone from the past, a time long ago when they felt loved and cared about and in a happy place, we get this beautiful three of materials, so again, this could be collaboration on a work assignment, feeling very lucky. So what does Taurus need to worry about? Is there a worry? Why is this person, why do they have a knife out? And why are they snooping around with Taurus? What does Taurus stand to lose? What does Taurus risk losing in this situation if they throw caution to the wind? The magician card. The magician card that was manifesting. So there could be a get big gain with a lot of burden. Page of inspiration. This person is more, there, there seems to be an immature energy around this person. There's, um, there's like a childlike quality that they have. They've been wounded in the past and they don't just trust people. They don't have, they have trust issues. Your person has trust issues. The two of emotions though, they have, they have trust issues around relationships. Bridegroom, you know, intimacy. They're jealous. Oh, there we go. It's actually much simpler than it seems. This person's jealous and they want to know if you have someone else in your life. They want to know if they're entering a third party situation, but they throw caution to the winds and look at the reason they do it is they see you as a really good person. They see you as Cancerian energy, Cancerian energy. They see you as somebody who's really very, um, very spiritual, very kind. Okay, so is this Seven of Swords resolved? I want to get this thing out of the way. Ace of Voices, yay, the truth be told. The Ace of Swords is they do receive clarity upon examining you with great emphasis after spending a lot of time researching you on the internet. They might be doing a people finders report. They're looking at different ways, you know, do you have a criminal record? I mean, it's, it's kind of, Kind of, there's a lot of swords energy there. This purse is way too much up in their head, but you know, it is what it is. So why is it that the two of you are so good together intellectually? Why is it that the give and take is so good? Let's see, why are these cards here for our beautiful Taurus friends? <gasps> you heal each other. This person wanted to know if it's too good to be true. Taurus, <laughs> this is beautiful. Oh, they're researching whether they would, whether they're safe. Ten of Cups, that's marital energy. Is it safe to fall in love? Is it safe to be married? And look at this Cancerian energy. They came, they are coming rushing in your direction. And we have the beautiful, beautiful Empress card. All right, so Empress energy is both of you have this Empress energy. Both of you want to be married. Both of you rush towards each other. Both of you are healing. Oh, God, that's gorgeous. Why is this Ten of Wands here? Why is the baggage? There's, it's almost like a baggage handler's come along. It's like the porters used to be at the airport. Let me take that from you. Let me help you with that. So what does this mean? Oh, a clean slate. Okay, oh, this is letting go baggage. My God, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. If you look at this, you sort of almost see the swirl of passion. This person might be very controlling by nature because see all this, this color. We have all this red. We have all this red in the background. So passion used to really run this person. Now there's a clean slate. So they would, 
they wanted what they wanted when they wanted it and there was devil energy and difficult energy around that this person is now discovering through all of this examination of who you are testing you trying to see what's going on so there's been a lot there's i think mind games that have been going on this is a tricky dick card and so this person has really tested you and it looks as though somehow in this situation you have wanted to leave and this person is seeing that they're not going to get hurt. You would rather leave and walk away than to leave them in the cold. And what is happening here in this beautiful process, this healing energy is this clean slate of moving from this very burdened energy that we see up here because remember we have the king of wands and this is the ten of wands so to release this energy of burden of abandonment of pain there's healing in this relationship your person has fully investigated you there's a dossier on their desk called top secret tune in next month irish donatero has a top secret dossier all right, so we have this beautiful star energy. Let's look and see for you what this uh, the fates have brought you together. That doesn't need to be clarified. You are looking at a higher power. That's a star card. And loyal hearts, why is it here? <gasps> Leo energy. The Leo energy goes from being egotistical, somewhat maybe controlling, or, and again, it's just energy of somebody who wants to be able to love with freedom. That is your reading, Taurus. It was beautiful. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.